Hello boys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here and welcome back to another episode of this Salford City RTG. And at the very start of this one again, I have to say a massive thank you to Obi for being a new pledge to the Patreon. Thank you very much, mate. I do appreciate it. Again, the link is down below if you want to join, but I do appreciate all the support you guys are showing. Now, as we get into this episode, it was a mixed bag, all right? It was a mixed bag in the last one. There were a lot of draws, but I'm quite happy with it, especially in hindsight, considering the size we were playing. I'm quite happy with it. We're still in the title race. We're doing far better than we were last season. I feel like we always come stronger in the second end of the season. There was a brief moment there, though, where I was a little bit nervous that we just hadn't done enough business in the window. I'm still pretty happy with the squad we've got and the business we did do. We tweaked the tactic as well in the last episode, and we are going to kick this one off by simming this cup game against Hull because again I really do not care about cups although it's the only opportunity in reality to win the Papa John's trophy this season we hope because we will get promoted it has to be the main important focus that we do get promoted I do have some scout reports as well to kick this one off we are doing Wales and Northern Ireland and so far okay okay Northern okay 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 Northern Ireland might have just come in clutch. He was six foot five as well. I don't know what position he plays in, but he he was a tall lad. I think that's the only one we're actually going to go for. We've got to a stage now where the players actually have to be fairly decent if we're going to sign them. Now, has Wales done anything for me here? I think we're going to go him at the age of 16. And then we've got Brick. What a name. He's a goalkeeper. Hopefully, he's a brick wall in net. We will sign both of them because... At this current time, we don't really have a young goalkeeper. Let's see what they can be changed to. That's two goalkeepers there. Okay, Aaron Rice was the unbelievable player we found, and he is a goalkeeper. And it's just a little bit of a shame. I was hoping he was going to be an outfield player. I'm not going to lie. And then the rest, if we take a look, they're not great. Harry Coates is starting to improve, though, which is a good sign. Maybe he's going to be someone that we can start using very soon, or at least in the coming season. We will set the rest up on the development plans and then just kind of see what happens. It already looks like Brick is probably never going to see daylight in this team so we are currently top of the league here for the papa john's trophy but again do not care about it we'll see what happens i mean hull are a ridiculously hard side to be playing in this competition we do lose it three two we put up a good fight which is good to see from the boys telford with another goal he's actually the top goal scorer at this time in the competition which is absolutely crazy um, i'm shocked to see dom telford being the top goal scorer in anything but this is where it all matters where it all matters is in the league and the first game we're going to play is against Derby, which should be massive because obviously they're recently relegated. But if we look at the league, actually not having that good of a season, they're 12. They definitely will have expected upon relegation to be doing better, but they are only three points off fifth and sixth where we are. So we need to make that six points by beating them. This is not something I expected to be dealing with in League One, but we do have three players away on international. Lund, Burt and King. I think Burt and Lund are both Scottish and King as well. They're all away on international. So in this one, we're going to be starting Amos in net. We can kind of get away with Lund going because we brought in Amos. So both Amoses will be starting in this game. And I'm going to start Ricky J. Jones as well as giving more a little bit of a rest. And do we give Doyle a rest? No, no, no. We go with that. So we are spread... Uh, a little bit thin here with those players being on international. Again, maybe you should have done a little bit more business in the window. Let's not talk about that too much. Let's go and hopefully beat Derby. Uh, find ourselves in a really good position moving up the league. We want to get in the top two at some stage. I just think it's going to be very difficult. Sheffield Wednesday and Hull have started the season so well. Got to be the main goal now. Just catching them and doing it as quickly as possible. As a Leeds fan, I absolutely detest the playoffs. I really don't want to be playing a playoff, but... If we have to, we have to. I will go through that pain. We'll go through that pain together. Also, if you are new around here, smash the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And then you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Of course, there's more career mode stuff on the channel, as I am a career mode content creator. Actually, Hunter did brilliantly there. That's actually worked out to go in my favor if Amos could have played that pass. I'm expecting a really good performance here because... We've had some poor performances recently. It's not been good enough. So we need a good one here against Derby, a team that are slacking a little bit at the moment. That was a good ball in. But Amos will gladly collect it for the first time. Another busy month. We try and get through a month each episode, simming a few games, playing a few games. Uh, I think that's the best format that we've actually found. I think it keeps the pace going really well in this series. This could be really good. Go on then, Kelly. You keep making the run straight across to Amos for his first goal for Salford City. And we have the lead. 
That's massive. Always good to see Amos bagging his first goal for the club. Well, his first goal in a played episode because I think he's going to be really good for us. I think he's going to be good in the championship. He came from championship Reading. I think that fills me with a lot of confidence that we've got a player there that's going to be able to do it in the championship straight off the bat, which for me is really important because that's where we want to be next season. And of course, depending on how much money they give us, a lot of these players are going to have to be good enough to play in the championship. Unless they give me a lot of cash. Oh my god, we got a little bit lucky there. Bounce off straight into the arms of Amos. Derby now instantly showing us uh, what they can do and how they can hurt us. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. Elliot Lee, surely. Oh, he's going to go in. That's horrendous from the goalkeeper. Do I care? I do not. We've seen some worldy saves from goalkeepers in this FIFA. That time round, he's made a massive mistake. And we go two up. And we always need that cushion. I always, without a shadow of a doubt, need that cushion. Great ball in. Great work again. Amos is having a standout performance here. What a ball in that is to Elliot List. And we lund away on international. Amos is taking advantage. Uh, tries to find Elliot List. Elliot List then to Ricky J. Jones. He needs to fire that one quicker, didn't he? It needed to be first time. Ball and wins it back. Oh, he's pulled it well wide. Ah, he's pulled it well wide. This is not really a strong point, is it, Bolton? Derby have got a corner and a goal here in this stage of the game and this early on in the game would change it. That was handball anyway. Cash indefinitely handled that. Elliot List. Ping that one across. Lado now. That's not the right side for him to try that shot. It's just not. He needs to be on his right foot for that one. Bit of an unscathed first half there. Um, not sure how, but I feel good. We haven't given away a penalty either. Two penalties in the last episode. Absolutely awful. That is not the way I wanted that to start, though. We Ricky J. Jones giving the ball away. He's not had a bad game, though. I'm not going to start being mean to him. He's having a good game. I'll tell you something, though. Bolton's had a really good game as well. In terms of him tracking back, which is really important in this formation. That was dangerous. We've got a man down. I want to swap to Mark here. I can't. And then he does win it back. And we get away with it. Go on then, Jones. Ricky J. Jones. He needs more help than that, doesn't he? Sometimes we just don't have the runners. And there, we just didn't have the runners. Derby should still have some championship quality players. So we'll see if they can, I don't know, orchestrate anything here. J. Jones. That's lovely play. Bolton now tries to dink that one over to Jay Jones. Oh, he got in some beautiful space there, the Ricky J. Jones. What a ball in, by the way, to Bolton. Perfectly over the defender's head. And then Ricky J. Jones slots at home. He's becoming a, a bit of a favourite. I mean, he was a fan favourite anyway. You guys absolutely loved him in the comments. So many different people commenting that Ricky J. Jones is someone we should get. And so far, you've proven yourselves to be right. 3-0, this is pretty comfortable. I might make some subs soon. Unfortunately, some of the players we might have brought on are away on international. So less internationals this season, please, guys. Uh, I mean, it's great that they've gone on international duty, that they're getting their opportunity. Oh, my God, Amos. No, 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 no. That was close. As I was saying, it's good that they've been gifted international opportunities. A triple sub in this situation. 3-0 up. Marvin, Telford and Burgess. We couldn't get rid of Burgess. It's actually proving to be pretty decent now. He's going to come on for Hunter. We're going to try him on the left. I think he can play comfortably on the left. So can Marvin, actually. They're both pretty versatile. But yeah, I'm pretty sure now at this stage in January, we're going to do some deals. We're going to do some deals. We're going to make some signings. Uh, I don't know how many, but I think probably two. Probably a, a, a left-sided winger. Probably a cam that can play centre mid as well. I think that's going to be the scenario. Unless we spot one of the Youth Academy players just being, you know, at a level where I think they can get in the team. That's probably going to be the changes we make. Oh, that's a great ball in behind from Derby. That is fantastic. And Amos with the save. Let's go, Amos. What a great debut for him. Oh, we've seen him save a shot. That's all that matters. He'll do for me. They brought on Solomon. It's got to be consolation goal now if they get one. I feel like we've been more than good enough for the value of the victory. I guess you never know with this squad. I wanted to change to Mark. I couldn't change to Mark. But luckily for us, he's blazed it over the bar. Ricky J. Jones. Pinged it. I'm going to ping it in. It's a good ball in. Telford. Lovely stuff. 4-0 against Derby. We've handed them a bit of a thump in here. And that's better from us. That is better. And we will we'll do that enough this season. We will do that enough this season against sides that aren't doing well. It just seems at the moment when we come up against the top sides in this league, we do find it far more difficult. That's a really good finish. I hadn't been able to find space really up until that point. But there we go. Dom Telford bags himself another goal this season. 
And he is, he's on fire. He really is. He's having a really good season. And you guys had said how good he was going to be. He was unbelievable in league. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, he's offside. I was going to say that's fantastic. Oh, he wasn't offside. They just blew the whistle there. All right, ref. I see how it is. Should have been five. But that will see us with the victory. And a massive three points. Gives us a gap of six between ourselves now and Derby. Derby thought it was going to be an easy rise back to the championship. They fought wrong, but Hull have won again. I think Hull are just going to continuously win. Look at that. They're not top of the league. Sheffield Wednesday, we're going to be looking to try and catch that. And now we've got Luton coming up. And I've got players on international duty while we've got a massive game against Luton to come. Luckily for us, the players are back, but they are tired. So they're going to need this game off and then hopefully they'll be fit for the next game, which is Charlton, which is another huge game. This is going to be the starting 11. Okoto is playing CDM. I, I don't really have a choice right now. I just genuinely don't. Kelly's tired. Amos is tired. Lund's tired coming back from international. So we're trying Okoto at CDM, which is the game you want to do that against third place in the league. But they have Lockyer, who is absolutely knackered. So hopefully we can run at him. It'll be Timmy Abraham and List up top today with Ricky J. Jones being a little bit tired. Back to back wins here would be absolutely huge. We kind of need it. This would be three wins on the bounce as well, right? No, no, we lost to Hull in the cup. I forgot about that cup game. Okoto, let's see how he does at CDM. I mean, maybe that's a role that we can train him to play in the long run, but we'll kind of see how he gets on today. As long as he stays strong there... Like, he should be okay for me. I shouldn't have any issues as long as he can just stay strong in the position. Link up those kind of passes will be absolutely fine. Oh, that's great footwork from Hunter. I don't know. That's a lovely move. Tierney. <sighs> McNeil is offside. Don't want to give Luton too many opportunities in this one because they'll take them. That's, that's what we know so far. You're not third in the league because you don't take your chances. You're not third in the league because you're not performing well. You're third in the league because of how good you are. That was lovely play from Abraham. McNeil, that was not the right choice, but why not? I mean, the lad's been in great form. He's now 70 rated. I just need him to get a bit quicker. I'm not sure how fast he's going to end up actually being. I just feel like you notice a huge difference between him and Marvin in terms of pace and acceleration, and it just feels a bit noticeable. Maybe in the long run, McNeil will be retrained to play in the center of the park because he is a very good player. That was a great run. Oh, that's a great ball to Timmy. That is a beautiful finish. Is he offside? He is not. Timmy Abraham makes it 1-0. Salford City against Luton. That is huge. And if I'm being honest with you, boys, I was trying to pass that ball to McNeil. It didn't go to McNeil. It went to Timmy, and we take those. That was a great finish from Timmy as well, to be honest with you. He's not really caught fire this season, but... We've rotated the strikers quite a bit, and Ricky J. Jones has just been that good. But let's not forget about Timmy Abraham, our number 11 now. Timmy is going to be given these game time opportunities. Timmy is a big game player as well, and he's just so good with his back up against goal. Like, he is just so unique in that sense that he can hold up the ball so well. I am not under the belief that we are safe, but King will hold that there. That was a bit worrying, wasn't it? That was a little bit worrying. I am nervous every time they come forward. They've got some weapons in this team. Great hold-up play there by Timmy. Ladeau now. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's just so heavy from Ladeau. Not really settled in this episode, but he did have a standout episode last time round. He could be a little bit hit and miss, but he's still young. He's still growing. He's still just going to keep getting better and better. We know that much. This space is not wanted. Cornick, what a save from King. Back from international. I hope he played for Wales on his international break. And back saving us. What can they do with a ball whipped in? We're going to win the header. We're not. Lockyer, who is absolutely knackered, nearly scores. We knew that was always going wide. That's why we left it. Oh, that's a great ball in. And there we go. They're just hitting them a little bit too heavy at the moment. At one point, though, one of those passes is going to be perfect. At least not got into this game early on. He's been a little bit sluggish. I think Timmy Abraham been by a country mile the better of our forwards at this current moment in time. And Panzu there. It's a good ball in and another great save from King. We are really just being helped in this right now by King. He is the only reason that this game is still 1-0 to us. They come. This is good play. Good ball out wide. He's going to have to be good. He was. He was. That was so good. What a save. King, again, absolutely every time just comes in clutch, man. Our defense has played quite well. Okoto in center mid has been good. Lado has been horrendous. That's a really bad pass again from him. I don't know what's going on with him in this match, but he needs to fix it. And quickly, what a block from Doyle. 
They've still got it. Okoto's going to be in there. He's a bit of a breath of fresh air having him in the center of the park. We need to reset a little bit now. This has to be a better second half. We need to be a little bit smarter on the ball. We've given them too many opportunities. I'm really happy with the defense so far. The fact that this is still only 1-0 and we are leading is, is quite ridiculous, to be honest with you. Thank you, King. That's what's got to be said there and another good save from King as we say it. We need to get a little bit smarter on the ball, a little bit smarter going forward. Please, Ledo, pick your performance up. I think we might cause them problems. It's a little bit better from him. Go on then, Timmy. Oh, lovely. Timmy, get to it. Oh, just that little bit too much on it from Tini. Just that little bit too much. Well, Timmy Abraham, he's celebrating. This is poor play. This is poor play. What a block from Doyle. That is beautiful stuff. We're going to have a corner. I think what I'm starting to notice as well, which is a big issue with Bolton and Marvin, is they track back. They just track back. They're so good at tracking back as well. And I've noticed with McNeil, he does track back. He just doesn't have the pace to track back enough to have an impact. That is not where I'm trying to pass that ball. Can we just say that? Well blocked, Doyle. That was not where I'm trying to play that ball. But yeah, I have started to notice that, that he just doesn't track back enough to have an impact. So in a defensive capacity, McNeil's letting us down a little bit. Lado now. Well, that's so clever. I'll pump that one there to Taney. And I just need to find a little bit of space to work in now. Go on then, Timmy. Oh, it's going to be Elliot List. It's not going to be Timmy. And that will go out for a corner. No, it was an offside. Elliot List was offside. 1-0 is not good enough. We know 1-0 is not good enough. I am just biting my nails here at the moment. I'm so nervous on what's going to happen in this match because it, it's too close. Why can't I change the right player? Please, God game, let me change. What a save from King. He is keeping us in this match. He really is keeping us in this game at the moment. Gonna have a corner. It's gonna be a dangerous one. Get to that more. That's a great header, but it's gonna end up back in. Can we stop this now? That is a good header away again from Moore. Elliot Liz can't get to it. Poor. Get a bit lucky, aren't they? Looting with the way the ball's dropping, but I have no idea how we are still leading in this game. And maybe this is just a little bit of luck back for us. Back to Ladal. That's the position he likes. Oh, thought it was going in. He's really comfortable shooting from that spot. Well, we're in added on time. And Luton have the football. Clark, what a ball! What a save from King. It wouldn't be the end of the game if King didn't save our skin again. And that will be a foul against Marvin. And that should be game set and match. He's actually getting a red card. He fouled Marvin at Adebayo just a few moments ago. I didn't show you that one, but I'll show you this one because it's a red card for him. Marvin managing to just be too tricky for them. And in a game where I really think Luton are going to feel really hard done by, to be 100% honest with you, do we care? No, we don't. That's a 1-0 victory for Salford. Timmy Abraham with a goal. We couldn't quite get going at times today. We had some patches there in the second half. But all that matters is the three points. Got to be noted, we had three shots. Luton had 10. That is the first time on FIFA since recent patches that it swung that way, where we've been miles the worst side and not conceded, and the opposition have been miles better and not scored 26 points now we come up against charlton who are fourth next man we're playing some really tough games here in the early stages of the season and not having much time in between them either Bradford and accrington to finish the month of october and then in november i think see this is a nicer month for us you know crew doncaster burton cheltenham i'm looking forward to november november is going to be a great month more rotation obviously with games coming thick and fast this is going to be starting 11 i'm trying summer I'm trying McNeil at camp because technically on the ball, he's very good. I just don't think he's quick enough. Now, if he's decent on cam, it's perfect for us. We'll just retrain him to play cam and he'll become a cam for us. And him, Lado and Tierney can share cam, but Tierney will probably play a little bit more at central midfield. I think he's just, he's not quick, is he? And I need pace on the wings, especially without playing fullbacks. We need the pace from the wide players to be able to get back. Burt comes in as well. Charlton are a little bit tired. Brannigan is a player that we were looking at, still might be looking at in the January transfer window. Hopefully, we can pick up a good result. Well, Jake Forster Kasky has scored three and three on the route to this one. They're the home team as well. This could definitely be where we slip up. We're having a really good episode in terms of games in this one. And this could easily be the team that we slip up against. We need to make sure we upgrade the stadium as well next season. Like, without a doubt, like, I need to upgrade that. That's a great tackle from Bolton. We've sprung to life here. Elliot List, that's a good turn. He's not bad on the ball, is he actually, Elliot List? I always forget that. Amos pulls it back into Elliot List. Back to Kelly. Kelly, good position. Shoots! 
Not quite Lado, is he? He can't really do that. Lado can do that. He'd have killed that far corner. Hold it up. I've got that runner, Bolton. That's a lovely ball. He couldn't get the right pass across, could he? Probably went to Elliot List there when I should have gone to Ricky J. Jones. That was lovely play from um, Ricky J. Jones. Again, he's so good, isn't he? He's just so good. But look at this. See where Bolton's taking this position now? McNeil just wouldn't be there. Marvin would be, but McNeil wouldn't. Oh, this is good, though. McNeil will knock that one on to Bolton. Bolton has not scored many. Bolton is through. Bolton absolutely shanks it. Pulls it miles wide. Probably should have looked for another pass on there. That was... That was pretty bad. That was pretty abysmal in terms of a shot. But, I mean, that's not his strength, is it? His defensive ability, his ability to get up and down the pitch. Not his shooting ability. Come, Charlton. Oh, that's lovely. That's a brilliant pass. He's going to be onside. What a save from Amos, who's been given the game today again. I need to get him fit. I need to get him sharp as well. But I thought I'd give him another match. He's made a brilliant save there. Absolutely fantastic. Well headed away by Ricky J. Jones, but the danger is not over. Charlton will come again, potentially. That wasn't the greatest of passes. Brannigan pulls that one further forward. He's been decent on the ball so far. I can see why he's been recommended. That was really poor uh, because he looks really good on the football. He gets it out to McNeil. McNeil's going to look way over the top to Ricky J. Jones. Ricky J. Jones will pick it across. Elliot List. What is that header? Was that header? Try and volley it, Elliot. I mean, he wasn't the greatest of balls, to be fair to him. It was a hard one to hit, but maybe he should do a little bit better than that tame header that he got. Passing range from McNeil, that, though. That was a really good ball over the top from him. We're going to need that. If he's going to play the cam position, that's the sort of ability he's got to show. Oh, my God. Esposito puts it wide. Abysmal. That's how I'd describe that first half of football. Absolutely abysmal. Neither team really created much. It's been an absolute stalemate. I'm not sure if we'd be too upset with a point here. I think away to Charlton, I'd probably take it. Holds it up. Ways and ways. That's a great ball in. Amos across. Ricky J. Jones. Then maybe J. Jones. What a save. Just couldn't find the breakthrough. But that was a really good opportunity from Ricky J. Jones. I thought we were finding the back of the net there. Goalkeeper's having a good game for them. I'll give him that. I'll give him that all day long. Ricky J. Jones, he got there as well, didn't he? He, he moved it. No, 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 no. Ricky J. Jones is, well, he's not getting up. And when he does get up, I think it's going to be very gingerly. And we might have an injury there. It's lucky that we're one spot we've got a lot of players is up top. But an injury to Ricky J. Jones is massive. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Akoto again. Akoto's having a beastly performance for me here. Laurent. Akoto tries to block it. They found the back of the net. What a finish that is, to be honest with you. There's no complaints from me. He's rifled that home. Dobson with the goal. And unfortunately, Ricky J. Jones' knock is more than what we wanted it to be. It's a bit frustrating because in my head, I'm just worrying about that. And they go through and score. I'm going to keep him on for now. See if he can run it off to a degree. Obviously, if he can't. The substitution will be made. He's not run it off. And with no Timmy Abraham on the bench, there's not much I could do. Forster Kasky's come on for them, and he's a big goal threat. So that's kind of a, a bit of a bonus for us. But I'm not sure where the goal's going to come from if there's going to be one. Ricky J. Jones has linked up play probably better than anyone. And now that substitution is not an ideal scenario. And I think Charlton, are, they're probably good for the lead. I don't know. It's been a really close game, which has been a dull close game. I don't think they're 100% good for the lead, but they have it. And that's all that matters, right? Is that they are, at this current moment in time, in the lead. And we are not looking decent enough to change that, in my opinion. That was good for McNeil. That's even better for Telford. This could be good for Elliot List. Oh, you've got to score it, Elliot. Whatever you do in that situation, find the back of the net. I'm not often left frustrated by Elliot List, let's be honest, boys. But right now... I am fuming that he's had two good opportunities and he's not scored either. We're going to have these games, I guess. When you're playing these sides, when you're playing the bigger teams, we are going to have hard games. Look at the derby result. Look at what the team did against a team that isn't in form. Charlton 1-0 victors today and they deserved it. I can't really complain. At the end of this match, I can't. Is it the excessive rotation we're having to do? Potentially. Who knows? We weren't really in that match, though. At the end of it, we really weren't in that game. There's two big moments for Elliot List that are frustrating, that he should have done miles better with. 
But aside from that, I feel like Charlton were good for the win. Does move us down to fifth. I think it's going to be a really topsy-turvy season in terms of those top positions. Maybe aside from Hull, I think we're going to be swapping up and down all season long. Now, the worrying thought here is what's the injury? It's four weeks for Ricky J. Jones, which is frustrating because Ricky J. Jones has been brilliant. This will be the starting 11 then for the Bradford City game. They're 24th in the league. It's a very strong lineup from us, of course. Now, Timmy is going to be getting the game time instead of Ricky J. Jones and Lado, the only goal scorer, meaning we beat Bradford City 1-0. Fully deserved by the looks of it. We absolutely dominated that game. Next up is 20th place, Accrington. I think we're going to be in a similar situation with the team. List and Abraham, I think, will be the strike partnership now as long as Ricky J. Jones is out. I, Telford just cannot play that target man role. I think Telford will rotate with Liss. Hopefully we get a good result here then against Accrington Stanley. And we, oh my God, we lost 2-0. Oh, wow. Talk about coming back down to earth. A game where we had more shots. We've lost it 2-0 to Accrington. I'm telling you, we are plotting our own worst downfall at times does mean though we are currently sat fourth with 29 points with a lot of teams on 29 points and then there's a lot of teams on 27 26 there's a lot of teams closer around us and that's the game you just don't want to lose <laughs> that's just the match you don't want to lose but this is that kind of league it's a lottery and that's what we're playing at the moment. I am happy, though. We are fourth in the league. We are massively improved on last year. No matter what, you look at the team. This is a huge improvement where we are at this stage of the season compared to last year. I've been scouting Tom Bayliss on a potential free transfer. I'm just going to add him to the shortlist for now. I think he'd come in instantly, though, because I think we need a little bit more strength in depth. And if I can do that now before the end of the season, I will do. We've got two scout reports here as well. I would usually do them at the start of the next episode, uh, but we will take a look. We'll just do them now. God, great at your age, Lloyd. That's not a good look. Uh, none of these, personally, I think are going to be good enough for us from Wales. And Northern Ireland, who has handed us a very good goalkeeper, uh, isn't handing us anybody else at this current moment. I've also made my mind up on McNeil. We're going to make the decision to make him into a cam. I think that's where he's going to be more beneficial to the team. So I will go into the development plan and we will change him to play at cam. Two weeks as well, which is a plus. I was really nervous it was going to take him a long time, but I do find anywhere between like 16... And 20 actually doesn't take them long to retrain certain positions. Once they hit like 22, it takes forever. For whatever reason, it seems to take a lot longer when they just get a little bit older. It does mean though Tierney now will play predominantly at centre mid. Lado will be the starting cam in rotation with McNeil. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I am excited for the month of November. As I've said already, this is certainly a month where I think we'll get much more out of the results because we're playing teams that should be a lot easier to play. You look at the Derby game. We put in a much better performance against that kind of side than when you look at Charlton and Luton because those two teams are right in the running with us to get promotion this season. It's going to be a ridiculous race and I think he's going to be very nervous. I think he's going to come completely down to the wire as well. But thank you very much for watching, boys. Again, if you're new around here and you haven't already smashed the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it as well as hitting the like button. I will catch you in the next episode.